director Fabian Forte brings us Legions, or at least that is the English title for this Argentinian movie. And that's right, that means it is spoken in the Spanish language. Now this is a demonic possession movie. Um, it tries to have, I feel, a lot of influence from the Evil Dead, both the original series and the remake. What is the story? Well, it focuses on this guy who, we see him in his kind of later stages of his life, and he's in a psychiatric hospital, but we learn through flashbacks that he was actually a kind of shaman in some type of kind of like um, a village out in the kind of the jungle. And there he took care of demons and things. And we see uh, the setup is this. We, we have this kind of, uh, kind of exorcism, so to speak, where the demon essentially vows revenge on, on this guy and his family. And this time he's got a young daughter. And of course this demon wants ultimately this daughter as kind of like recompense. Uh, and then we kind of uh, have this kind of modern kind of storyline where the daughter's all kind of grown up. She doesn't really believe in all this kind of stuff. Uh, anymore and has kind of got this kind of successful career whilst the father is kind of put away in a kind of psychiatric institute where everyone just thinks he's crazy but we you know we learn that this this demon is now going to have another go at this daughter so the father has to try and step up and save her now what will happen you'll have to watch the movie and find out so let's discuss what i think works in this movie so when you see clips or when you see steals from this movie you'll see some pretty good practical effects in regards to the demon uh, makeup and vfx and yes i will confirm i think the vfx here is pretty strong i'd say it's one of its strongest elements here is a good visual style it does remind me of both the 2013 remake of evil dead and the kind of the original series in its kind of aesthetic choices and there's even some kind of tonal issues where i feel the movie is trying to um copy the Evil Dead to a certain degree, which I'll come on to. But nonetheless, I do think the actual VFX here is, is pretty good when we do see uh, these kind of demonic entities and stuff. And there's actually some uh, reasonable kind of gore and violent sequences in the last kind of 15, 20 minutes of the movie where there's kind of, we have more of a kind of demonic kind of rampage in this kind of uh, psychiatric kind of hospital, which I thought was done to a good standard. And talking to it of a good standard, on a technical aspect here, this movie is well put together. It looks polished, it looks professionally kind of put together with, with a crew here who clearly kind of know what they're doing. I think, you know, it's to a high standard. The cinematography, the camera placement, lighting, sound design, it's all done to a good standard, giving this kind of movie a slick sheen, a professional feel to it. You're looking, looking like you're, you're, not, you're not watching some kind of like made over the weekend B movie. You're watching a film which has had patience and care put behind it. Acting is a little bit of a harder one for, to, to judge. I always think when, you, when I'm watching a foreign language movie, um, you know, it's harder to judge acting because obviously I'm reading the uh, subtitles uh, and what I'm hearing is not always the exact kind of uh, translation to what I'm kind of reading. So it's harder to judge the kind of the emotional resonance that's meant to be coming through but i will say i do think from from what i can kind of glean at least the acting here is to a pretty good standard uh, from a kind of everyone involved here people emote when they're supposed to emote and i believe their kind of emotions so we'll call it a, a little bit of a win in regards to sort of the acting where, do, where does the movie fall down for me i gotta say i think it's probably in the script here that's the weakest the weakest area for me because the movie's plot isn't particularly kind of, um, you know, uh, anything to write home about, if we're being completely honest here. It's, it's a fairly kind of simple plot where I feel the concept is somewhat kind of stretched. Um, so it's an inch, you know, we've seen demonic possessions. I mean, we know we've seen demons wanting to take kind of revenge on kind of the, the clergy and stuff like that. It's nothing we haven't seen before. But there's not a huge amount to this plot. I mean, we have this, our main character, this um, shaman guy, now it's an older, older man. We, he's kind of like, get wind that the, 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 the demon wants, you know, to take his daughter. But it's not until over halfway in the movie before we kind of get to him even escaping the kind of psychiatric institute and trying to kind of contact his daughter. 
you know, it's it's a little bit uh, drawn out. I mean, it's maybe not a slow-paced movie. I wouldn't say it's necessarily slow, but it's, there's not enough really kind of going on. But what do we have? Well, we have lots of kind of like comedy shenanigans. Um, and this is where I feel, again, the movie is taking cues from that original kind of Evil Dead series where it is known for, you know, having a slightly comedic edge to it. And we get goofy shenanigans with the kind of the, the, uh, the cast of this uh, psychiatric hospital's inmates and things like that doing like wacky stuff for, you know, half the movie. Um, you know, and it's kind of like, oh, oh, did you want some forward momentum on the plot here? Uh, and it's kind of, it's just taking its time having this kind of, all these kind of cast of extras and kind of supporting roles for these kind of inmates and stuff where they, we, we see them do lots of wacky things. And I'm like, do we really want to watch this? It's also coupled with uh, some very extended flashback sequences. Now, I, in some respects, I kind of like the flashbacks because it gives us a variety of kind of location. We see some kind of like external shots, this kind of like jungle area. So it does give us some um, contrast to kind of the internal kind of buildings that we do get for the majority of the kind of the modern age stuff. But I thought that the flashbacks were, didn't serve a lot of purpose because we kind of get where the movie is going anyway. It just kind of like doubles down and like, we'll tell you this stuff and then we'll kind of show you it and the flashbacks will go on for a long time. And I don't think it really needed to, 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 to have that much um, time spent on the flashbacks to be honest, because they go on for a long time. I also think they somewhat kind of undercut some of the, the modern age stuff. So I think some of the actors they've got in the kind of the uh, playing, for example, the younger version of the daughter and her teenage years looks nothing like the kind of the adult version and things like that. So it's a little bit poor casting, but there's also some story elements there where uh, I feel, um, don't make a lot of logical sense and kind of undercut the kind of the the logic of the, the actual story so the whole concept is is that the uh, the demon is going to take over this this the daughter because she has a lack of faith and she has a lack of faith because of some pendant which i found a little bit of a macguffin to be honest but you know i i feel it weird that you the faith is purely based on this pendant rather than kind of a belief in a kind of like higher power that seemed weird to me um, not that i'm a religious person but it just seemed to be that they shouldn't matter whether you've got a pendant or not whether you believe in stuff but anyway we clearly see in the in the flashback where we have a teenage kind of daughter that there is obviously she is face to face with someone who is clearly possessed that actually attacks her and yet she doesn't believe i'm like how how is that possible you know, uh, I mean, all she's kind of about oh, is all people think people think I'm weird at school, and I get it if your dad is just going on about this kind of stuff. But when you clearly have uh, someone who is possessed and like tied up in a room with like sharp teeth and stuff, thinking, wow, oh, come on. Um, so I feel this movie doesn't do itself any favors with the kind of the logic department. So we have kind of like this uh, a drawn out story. We have some kind of inconsistencies in logic. And then we have uh, this kind of weird tonal shifts where in some aspects it wants to be kind of goofy and comedy and fun. But then there are elements here that we're meant to take seriously and kind of like, uh, you know, uh, meant to be kind of scary. And I don't think it meshes particularly kind of well. Um, so there are elements here that I feel the script could have had, had, had a bit of a rewrite. It could have had a producer pushing back. I mean, aesthetically, there, there are elements here where the demons look cool, but I think we don't see enough of them either. Um, we don't really get a huge amount of kind of like demonic action until, as I say, the last 15 or 20 minutes of the movie. Because the film's too concerned with having these like uh, either character moments or comedic or shenanigans or flashbacks. And there's just not enough kind of um, scary elements within the kind of like the uh, really the first kind of hour and 10 minutes maybe they're scattered here and there but not a lot of them so ultimately it becomes a little bit kind of a, of a sort of meandering film in many ways 
Uh, it's not a bad film, it's well put together, and when we do get kind of demonic action, I think that's an interesting to, to look at. But by then, my kind of interest was waning, I'm not going to lie. I'll give this one... I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I, I actually don't think it's all of that interesting on a, on a narrative level, so I, I, you know. But it is adept, at, at least on its technical stuff. So it's a 5 out of 10 for me. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave, leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.